Hello. It's been quite a while since I made an actual gameplay video or any video here on my channel. I've been quite busy. But the time I've had off, I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft, a lot of retail, and now I'm getting back into classic. And today, as you can see, I'm going through the Blood Elven capital of Silvermoon City. And this is the first time for me. I never leveled up a Blood Elf, and I never seen their capital. So I made a Blood Elf. This is just a level 1 row that I made. Randomized. But I really love the black hair on the Blood Elves. I know most people enjoy their blood elves blonde, but I think the black hair has such a nice contrast to their, to their eyes. I'm wearing something red today, as you can see, just for the feeling of it. I'm gonna try out with some ambience, relaxing noise, and we can go through the capital and explore together. So this is my first time doing it. I hope you don't mind a mess in the background of my video in my room. I'm in the midst of moving, so it's just trying to pack down a lot of stuff, selling a lot of stuff. So we will see how that will turn out. I placed Blood Elf. At the entrance of Silver Moon City, as you can see, this is one of the capitals that you cannot fly in. It's uh, the Exodar and the Silver Moon City. We should look at the map. Here is Silver Moon City in Neversun Woods. Here is the Blood Elven Stunning Zone of Sunstrider Isle. And I came all the way through the ruins of Silver Moon. And here is the Silver Moon City and the Dead Scar in between where Orthras and Scrooge came through the land. So we're going to go through this part of the city today. Should we run or maybe walk? Running will be okay. At the entrance, you can see Kelthas and Strider, the glowing fell orbs, and some guards. Let's look at them. Oh, you can even hear the sound of the fire. That's so cozy. I really enjoy it. Um, aesthetics of the blood elves I've been talking in my videos forever about making a cosplay um, for making some role plays and I'm finally getting into it I'm just not having a lot of time on my hands in my life right now here is another statue of Kelthas some banners Here's when you get into the city. I vaguely remember this one from when I was younger, that it was very small, very tight, this city. Here we can see a blood elf golden statue on top of the building. Some red glass windows. This aesthetic is so nice. You can see it there. Curtains are flowing, maybe chiffon, fabric, some waypoints. Is there a map inside the capital? Maybe. We will see. Here is the dead scar. And here is the ruins of Silver Moon, where there is a lot of hostile mobs and undead Scrooge. We cannot go, my characters use level 1. So here's the entrance, the new entrance, I guess. 
I really hope Silver Moon gets restored one day, but I have no clue if they have any plans on uh, updating the old zones. But you get into Walk of the Elders, the Royal Exchange, Forest Riders, Square, Murder Row, Court of the Sun, Sun Fury Spire, and the Bazaar. So, we're gonna see where we should go. So maybe we will start. You can see some horns up here. A torrent. I wonder if is this a hut? Maybe. Or maybe this where? This is an inn, right? I think this is the first starter inn. And even though these are the classic servers and I play on a highly populated server, there is no one here. That's quite a shame. Maybe that will change. Here we can see the blue curtains. I love them so much. I wish I could actually decorate my office or gaming room in my new apartment like this, that would be very satisfying. When you get in, there's even more. The chandeliers, big feast, a lot of lavish chairs, the innkeeper, another blood elf. You can see a lot of, is it hookahs, some day beds, and the little bar. Golden plates, wine, some cakes of ale, or maybe more wine. The blood elves are a very luxurious race. They, may, they enjoy the good things in life. And some books. Let's see. The Alliance of Lord Aron. Some lore books for the achievements. We're not gonna go through that in this video. And just look at the beds with the big curtains. I don't know what these are called in English. Some more cushions. This is very nice. I think these are one of the best inns actually in game. Here's a cooking trainer. You can see a lot of fish, a lot of meat. Some pans, a lot of silverware, herbs. Honestly, I would love to live like this. If I could choose a place to live. According to the lore, there's not a lot of blood elves left after the, the Scrooge invaded the Silver Moon City. Most of them got killed. Now I feel a bit lost. So big this place. Here's the bank. Which way did we came from? Over there? I'm not quite sure. We will explore this together. Just look at It's really fun to explore places like this in a game that is so old, but I still haven't been to it that much. Here are all the bankers. Almost look like Sori Dormi. Even though she's a blonde on the waiting line, it's all empty. Such a shame. Here's a big fountain with some blood elves in the middle. I seriously need to look at the map. Where am I going? I'm inside the bazaar now. So I exited through the inn on the other side, maybe. I came this way, but now we're here. Oh well. We will continue this way. The game will lead its path. And we will see which way this goes. Here 
here is some armory maybe, a lot of blood elven weaponry, some shields with the lions, a lion on it, some male armor, maybe the bazaar is there. Merchants are. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Are they being mind controlled? Is it some spell? Some rally? I don't know. It feels such a shame that a big city like this is just completely dead. I wonder if we will see any other players in here. Maybe not. Some regent sellers, some of these day beds, and a hookah. The curtains are magical. This game still holds a lot of feelings for me. Even though I'm really nostalgic about it, but it's so wonderful to get back into the game. Even if it's dead, some merchants, or maybe it is the action house. Yeah, it it's nice. In the middle of this big square, and no one is here. I've been missing playing a lot, but I've been really tired. We went there, I think. It's really nice, actually, that I'm getting to move now. I'm quitting all of my jobs. I'm selling most of the things I own. I'm only leaving with my booming collection and my bookshelf. I am selling every other piece of furniture, except the computer, of course. And I'm really happy. Here is some tailor. This is so beautiful. Look how slender the blood elves figure is. I really want to achieve this if possible. Here we can go down and maybe into the basement. Oh, can you hear that noise? Oh, what's this? A leper gnome in the basement. And the music and ambience got a bit spooky. Here we can see a lot of leper gnomes being captured and working. Some golden treasure and a succubi. Or succubus. Still with the doll face. I actually uh, prefer the old character models, especially the blood elves. I think all of the old characters, before they got updated, had way more character in the face. The, the, the faces looked very different from each other. And I don't think they are now in retail game. I don't um, fancy them as much since they got updated with higher resolution skins and textures. Here might be some engineering. He's looking at the big bombs or rockets. Some more tailors. We can see some yarn, pants, nets, a lot of stuff, shirts. Yes, the attention, the detail. Really lovely. I think we're gone through the bazaar now, so we're gonna follow this path. And we might get out to the main city. It's quite hard to navigate here though. Here's some little torrent. Oh, 
Okay, so maybe druid, some mushrooms, and herbs. Maybe some herbalism quest is starting out here. Here is a long path. This is what's so great about this game. There's so much I don't actually have seen since I only play alliance characters. This might be some alchemy. There's a lot that you won't see. Here's where we came through, right? That's the main entrance, maybe. Yes, there's a bar. Now I know where we are, at least. Inside of here, there is some benches. Some hookahs, where you can sit. I love the enchanted brooms. Cleaning up the city. From what exactly? I don't know. There is no one here. Some more blood hours. Is another day bad? Maybe I went in here. I think so. I'm getting lost. It's amazing how much there are. Ooh. Where did we go in now? Oh. There's some fell magic crystals. You can hear the sound of them. Bubbling around. This is so cool actually. There is a lot to see. It's a really big city. We're over here now into the royal exchange and it all looks very similar to each other these little pathways connecting each other within these walls there's a lot to explore more fountains some riders what's this A lot of inns with day beds and hookahs. I can imagine this has been quite lively in the expansion from the Burning Crusade. But maybe there's not a lot now. Here's another inn. Let's look. Some characters, some feasts. A lot of pets. Oh no, what's going on here? I don't know. Probably some quest that I have not done. I hope all of you are feeling well. And are having a stress-free year. Maybe that's not possible for a lot of people. But try to take some time for yourself, be happy, and be kind to yourself. Mm, this might be another action house. Are there two action houses? I think so. That's probably it. A city with two action houses. That's a first, right? Mm, this is another bag. I'm honestly getting so lost. Or have we been here? No, it's actually just another one. I, I got a bit scared there that I was just getting so lost, but no. That's uh, the same bank as earlier. So if we continue this way, we're gonna see where we go next. Nice, look at the clothes you're wearing, their armor. 
it's really sensual. I really enjoy it. The beauty of this game. Oh, here's some target dummies. There are supposed to be alliance characters. The bang from behind. Here we can see an interesting statue. I assume this is Sylvanas Windrunner. Or maybe Verisa. What's in here? Oh, this is real so good. This is some hunter place. I have not seen this in game before. Some plane walkers, what are they called? Birds? And a bear, some trees, some deer antlers, a swine. That's most likely the hunter station. I am getting quite lost. Okay, so if we go behind here, we can see Call of the Sun, some Fury Spire. Then go back to murder row. It's really hard, actually. This is why I never really got into playing the horde characters. Oh, look, here's some lava, 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 lava. Maybe some blacksmith. I find it really hard to navigate when you're not uh, used used to playing horde characters. Oh, here's the engineering station. Look, some robots, some pumps. This is a city I really wish we could fly in. Just because um oh wait, there's murder. As you say, Ambassador, we can wait. Is this maybe a hostile environment? No, there can't be within a city, right? Maybe we're gonna go through this lastly. It looked a bit dark and spooky for me. I do not know about the lore in that place, but we're gonna go through it lastly. More fountains. Oh, they have some petals in here. Maybe some koi fishes sprouting water. So lovely. The sound effect of this game. So we're gonna continue walking up. Here's some other big. The mountain and the big fell crystal on top of the spire. I'm really intrigued. Oh, there's another player. Oh, wow. Just, that's the first one we've seen through this whole video. It's quite amazing. Oh, we're going to the dealers of the whole. this, the library, with all the arcane magic, some fell magic as well, a lot of knowledge, oh. and the floating bookshelves, here's some more statues, in the middle of the room, Another library. This is so cool. And behind the curtains, we can see them. Lord Themar Theron. That's the Lord who is still in retail, leader of the Blood Elves, Grand Magister Romath, and Halderon Brightwing. Arcane flames. What 
what's going on behind here? Let's look. Some maybe teleportation rooms. This leads to nowhere. No, it's the orb of teleportation, but we're not gonna press that. I don't know where it will take me. Maybe it says orb of translocation. No. We're not quite done yet with this video. It most likely just goes to another place. And I'm most likely too low level to use it anyways. This has been really lovely, but it's quite hard to know where to go. I feel like a total noob experiencing the game for the first time. See someone else. Maybe a warlock. Some more sentinel guards. We only have left the. Yeah, we went into some fury spire. Caught off the sun. We're gonna go through the murder row. And this pathway down. Then we might be done. It's quite a small capital. It's larger than the Exodar, I think, but it's really, 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 really fun to experience for the first time. Now we're going into Murder Row. Here's some cellars, maybe. I wish I had a little sheet note for the lore about this place. Some blood elves addicted to fell magic, maybe. Someone is sleeping, getting entranced by the fell. The ambience is really soothing. A lot of demons, maybe these are the ones that fell. Rogues. Here are someone brewing potions for the rogues. A lot of fungi. There were not that much, but it's enough. Here's someone falling asleep with some broken bottles. Maybe having some issues. Oh, we came through this place here on the other side. I'm actually starting to be able to navigate this place. It's not that big, but it's quite a confusing. It's a really beautiful place. And here we're back to the... To the torrent. Maybe herbalism trainer. And then we should be back on the way out. I remember the first time I um, tried to level up, we have been here, first time I tried to level up a blood elf character, I leveled up to maybe, was it 5 or 10, where you enter the silver moon city, and I just got so lost that I logged out and just felt like, no, no, I'm gonna level up and Alliance character instead. This is enough for me. Now we're heading out. But it's really beautiful. Such a shame that I'm too level to have a too low level to have a mount. But it was not that big. Now we're on the outside. I guess this maybe was a side entrance. Since the city used to be so much larger, now we're outside. This has been really fun for me actually to make. I This was a first for me, so I hope you found it a bit relaxing. I will try to make some more videos now when I'm moving, but it's gonna be quite some time before I do, a couple of months. 
and I used to be really tired, but I I feel so blessed to have all, all of you who write nice comments to me and that you appreciate my content. It makes me really happy and wants me to continue to do it, so thank you. I hope you have a lovely evening.